Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer here. Okay, today I want to talk about questions we should never ask a psychic because I've just made this mistake myself. Huh, even though I'm a psychic. Okay, I'll tell you what's been going on with me, with this, which is relatable to the first question that we should never ask a psychic, okay? The last few weeks I've had a sore throat and I was hoping it was just a case of tonsillitis but it's actually not so yesterday I went to a doctor and he said I need blood tests and a scan now I like being transparent I've only just gotten home it's now 10 o'clock I got home about 15 minutes ago from having a scan so um, 7 o'clock this morning I took my daughter down we got a blood test so I've still got the blood test thing on and I'm going to take that off now okay um, oh god ouch yeah really Linda all right, so there's my blood test thing. And as you can see, I've got the mark here. There you go. You can see where the mark is there, where she's just taken blood. Okay, so I've just had a scan, which is where you lie on a bed and she's got a monitor and she's got this really cool cold gel. Cold, it was cold. She put it all over my neck and then she does this thing and it's coming up on the computer screen, right? So um, let's just break away from that because there's something I want to ask is all um you know we all want to be psychic so let's just do something today right here's an exact here's a tester anyone who wants to have a look at my neck you can see where the swelling is on both sides here right anyone who wants to have a look at my neck use your spidey senses or your psychic abilities or your medical intuitive stuff and I give you consent to analyze or get psychic information about what you see in my neck okay my email is below it's linda at linda and if you want send me over an email and just in the in the subject just put your neck or what i see with your neck or what i think is wrong with your neck or something like that about my neck so that i know which people it is that's you know, giving me information right and we'll go on, and I'll reply to every single one next Tuesday. So you've got till next Tuesday, which will be uh, 24th. Yep, 24th of October is next Tuesday. Um, I'll do a video and I'll just say who was right and wrong. Obviously, I don't share names, okay? Unless you give me permission. So my email is below if you want to do, want to give me a reading on my neck, okay? So this morning I was up at the doctor's and I had the blood test brought Tashi home my daughter then I took her to school then I went back up because um, the pathology opened at seven but the x-ray clinic opened at eight so I got there at about eight eight fifteen and there was quite a few people there so I had to virtually wait uh, an hour to get in so I've only just got home at about quarter to ten I just went and had something to eat because I haven't eaten all day um, and now I'm here doing a video okay so I'm driving home only about half an hour ago and I looked up to the sky and I said, am I going to be okay? Questions we should never ask a psychic, okay? Am I going to be okay? <laughs> the answer is always yes. Because when we say I... That means my soul. Is my soul going to be okay? Of course. This body of Linda dies at some point, again, because I already have once or twice, maybe three times, I don't know. But <laughs> when Linda does finally die permanently, <laughs> my soul is still going to be okay. Okay? Even Linda, this life that I've led now, sorry, I've still got this damn stuff in my in here. I'm just fixing myself up because she's put stuff in there and I can still feel it. Um, yeah, that, that bottle stuff, the gel, oh, I can still feel it. So anyway, sorry. So when we die, our soul is great, okay? So of course I'm going to be all right. And even if Linda does have some sort of disability illness injury or whatever I've got to remember here that I signed up for all this before I was even born it's called a life contract okay 
And in my life contract, I actually did say things like when uh, when she's 20, like Linda, when she's 20, she's going to break her neck in a car accident, which I did, right? So I know that that event had to happen because there's no coincidences and everything happens for a reason, okay? So when I sit in the car... <laughs> A half an hour ago, driving home from the doctor's surgery, and I looked up and I said, am I going to be okay? As soon as I said it, I knew the mistake I'd made. Because you don't say, am I going to be okay? Because the answer is always yes. So you've got to be more specific, okay? And that's what I want to ask, um, talk about today with these questions that we never ask a psychic, okay? So the first one is, if you want to know something about your health, you've got to be specific, okay? And you say, you know, I don't like saying conditions, so I'm not even going to mention my throat, okay? Um, am I ever going to break my left arm? <sighs> okay? Now, I can hear right straight away, the answer for me is no. So I know I'm never going to break my left arm, okay? This is my left arm where they just took blood out of it this morning. So, um that's how psychics get their information okay because now i'm connected to my right arm okay um, so psychics always get their information through that connection of energy and a lot of psychics don't want to tell you how they do it because they don't want you to teach it or learn it because then they're not earning money i'm not like that i am more than happy to tell you guys how to do this so you can do it yourself right so that's why I said, anyone that wants to look at my neck, tell me what's wrong. Look, you can see the swelling. It's there and it's here. So I think it's my thyroid, okay? Um, the doctor said yesterday it's probably thyroiditis that I've got, but I'm not going to label it yet until I get the test results, okay? But um, anyway, so if you do think you know what's going on or you feel or you just get that knowing, please contact me. My email is below, right? So the next question. What else do people ask that we really shouldn't? Okay, next one is, when will I find my boyfriend? So when people say that, I can have a vision where this person is standing at a bar called, I don't know, Joey's Drinking Hole. I'll just call it Joey's Drinking Hole. Joey's Drinking Hole, if you go up there next Friday, you're looking for a guy who's six foot two, brown hair, he's wearing a bright red shirt and his name is Joe. Funny because he works in a place called Joe's Drinking Hole. So maybe I should have called him something else, I don't know. But anyway, it's an example, right? It's an example. So I say that you go to this place and that's where you're going to meet him. But the thing is here, psychics use connection of energy. So just because I see you with this guy or girl, it doesn't mean that they are the ones that you're meant to be with. They may be that connection where you meet them, you go out with them, but then you meet their cousin or their best friend or their neighbor or someone else they're connected to, okay? So, please if ever you say to a psychic oh can you tell me who I'm going to be with please don't expect that they're going to get that accuracy and say oh yeah that's the one because we don't hear as a psychic I've never heard oh yeah tell her that she's going to end up with this guy called David but she's going to meet David's best friend at the bar because his name is Joe and he runs that place called Joe's drinking hole Okay, it doesn't work in that reverse way. So it, they let us know who that connection is with. So then from there, there's another connection to the next connection. So they don't bypass it, just go straight up to the other connection. Okay, it doesn't work like that. Okay, so that's one of the questions that I get asked quite a lot. I'd say 90% of people who come to me as a psychic, they say, um, who am I going to marry? When am I getting married? Okay. Because if we know the end game, we don't do the work to get there. And that's something I really do want to stress here today, okay? Um, you know, if I say, oh, yeah, you're getting married next May and you're with somebody now, then you assume that you're going to marry that person. 
but you could break up with that person in two weeks wait two months and then you meet a guy in say December you go out with him for like four months and then you get married next May right so it puts in all this false expectations whenever I do do um, like future readings okay so we've got to remember that there's always things that happen that we don't get in the reading okay just because I say you're getting married next May doesn't mean it's to the person that you're with now okay all right so that's one that I want to clarify another one is um, I get asked this one a lot can you tell me about my husband or can you tell me about this guy I just met or oh, can you tell me about this person at work generally I do not read other people because they have not given me consent and under their own free will they may not like me zapping in and getting information on them right so this is where we've got to take our ego out of that equation and say why do I need to know about them okay this is where we've got to start learning to trust our own intuition trust our own gut and think right well if this person's not who I thought they were maybe there's something there I don't need to have a psychic to tell me that sort of stuff okay pardon me okay I've just eaten breakfast okay I got home I had had to have my brekkie I've still got my bowl here <laughs> look I've still got my bowl here because I've just been eating breakfast at 9 30 in the morning don't judge okay <laughs> don't judge don't judge me <laughs> so okay so there's some simple questions that I get asked a lot you know 90% of people that come to see me they say where's my future husband and girlfriend when am I getting married we all want to know that future um, anyone who asks me that question I generally look at them and say why do you need a partner they can't answer it because that's just their belief system of growing up right so if you do make a list of what you want to ask a psychic before you even go and see one or me or whoever you see right it's always best to say to yourself why do I need this information is it because of my own fears insecurities and doubts which it usually is by the way and that's why we all want to know when we're going to come into a million dollars right so let's just go there with that one I do get asked that one quite a lot when am I going to make a million dollars um well that's a question that we should never ask because me personally I've worked now since I was 15 and I'm now 56 so that's to say 40 years I've worked and you know when you take away um, a million dollars out of 40 years you know have I earned that divisional amount every year you know like I remember one year years ago I I you know like let's just I don't know I even use me okay let's just say someone who earns make it easy a hundred thousand a year in 10 years they've made their million dollars huh so if that person came to me and said oh am I ever going to win a, um, make a million dollars good chance the answer is already yes see what I mean so we've got to be careful asking that one when will I make a million dollars now the other thing I say to people too is why do you need the money it's usually lifestyle oh I need to go to this place I want to do that I want to go here and I want to open that okay and then I say to them because you're actually wanting the end game if you just want a million dollars to splurge it on a new car what else could you do to get you that new car okay so instead of instead of just wanting the end game what are you doing to create that work to get that end result okay so you know I have had a couple of people saying I need a million dollars but then at the end of the day you got to think well then what work are you doing to make that money okay so let's talk about that as a psychic to see what options you can have to get to that money rather than when will you get it okay the other one I get asked about million dollars is will I ever win a million dollars okay I always say it like this I could tell you right now that if you get in your car you drive down the corner shop I can see that you're going to win that you're going to buy that that perfect lotto ticket that's going to win that million mega lotto however I see that now but you get into your car you go out onto the main street you get stopped at a red light 
So that delays you getting up to that place to buy that million dollar lotto ticket. Then you get it there and there's already someone else is already in the queue because you got stopped at a red light. So future events can always change. Always change. So you've got to remember a psychic will tell you things now in the present. Okay? And as soon as you walk out of their office or wherever you see them, Zoom meeting, that information could change instantly. Okay? You know, you might say to a psychic, oh, am I even going to run the million mile race? Uh, I could say, yeah, I can see you running that million mile race. But then as soon as you leave that psychic, fate intervenes, you fall down, you break your legs, and they say you can never run again. Huh? But she just told me 10 minutes ago, I'd, I'd be running this big race. Because at that time, you hadn't broken that leg yet. Okay? So we've got to understand how all this works because psychic information usually comes in the now, okay? So I hope that that's given you some clarification today about questions that we can't ask a psychic, okay? The big one is, um, should. Um, so let's just recap, never ask about another person because I don't do it, other psychics shouldn't either, okay? That's a good way of knowing if you've got a good psychic, okay? So don't ask about other people, always about yourself, okay? Next one is don't ask about will I get married, where's, where's my future boyfriend, because that connection, it could be um, misleading information that we get there, right? The third one is when we say I need a million dollars, uh, we've got to realize that 20,000 here, 10,000 there, 100,000 there, it all adds up to a million dollars, okay? I, I got a bit of a shock one day when I sat down about six months ago and I worked out how much I had actually earned in my life and I thought, where did all that go? <coughs> Obviously, it was over a million dollars, okay? So, um, yeah, so there's a couple of basic ones today. If you do want to use your own spicy, um, spidey senses today and uh, have a look at my neck, um, I would appreciate your emails because, hello, we're all developing our own psychic abilities here, right? This would be a great... Um, um, exercise for anyone who does want to become a medical intuitive okay pause the screen concentrate on my neck I do it by looking over here at the white wall so I see here out of the peripheral okay you know I look over here so it's over here in my peripheral okay um, as well as auras if anyone wants to check my aura I give you consent to do that today as well so this is all about developing our own innate abilities guys my book psychics explained is nearly finished i was actually talking to my guy last night who's formatting it so he's on deck he's all ready for it as well so hopefully over the next few days i get that book finished so he can get it out ready on lulu um, and then i'll be throwing out some competitions where i give it away for free love it okay all right guys well you guys have a lovely day please understand if i have rescheduled you for any reason over the last few weeks um I was sort of hoping this was just a tonsillitis type thing, but obviously it's not. And I shall talk to you all soon. Okay, have a great day, guys. Bye.